I really like low cobra as an exercise for upper back flexibility because unlike our high cobra, where virtually all of the bend ends up going into our low back, in our low cobra, when we've got our belly on the floor, low back is staying relatively flat and the only arching is coming from our mid and our upper back. So if you're working on your upper back flexibility, low cobra is going to be where it's at. Let's talk about how to get into this pose, some cues for form that I like. There's a lot of different ways to engage our muscles to support the stretch, so I will give you one option. There's certainly other ways to do it, but this happens to be my personal favorite. So we're gonna start lying on our stomachs, planting our elbows about right underneath our shoulders, and then forearms are gonna come on the floor. For our low cobra, we're gonna keep the very bottom ribs of our rib cage pushing down into the ground. That means our belly is on the ground, belly button's on the floor. Like I said, those very bottom ribs. So I'm going to be swishing my belly into the ground, but I'm going to try to lift my collarbone and the crown of my head as high as I can. So I'm really pushing my forearms into the floor. I'm lifting my ribs as high as I can. Not so much that that belly starts to float. We're going to keep that contact with the bottom ribs on the mat. So I'm pushing down through the bottom of my ribs, lifting up through my collarbone and the top of my ribs. And the last little bit of engagement I like to add is pulling my elbows back towards my hips. So you can see here my shoulders are relatively relaxed. I pull my elbows and my triceps backwards. This is gonna help reach my chest forwards in space. And you can imagine that this is like your low back is a bendy straw. It's undoing all of those kinks in the top of the bendy straw, giving it a little bit more length. So we've got a little bit more room to start to arch. You can hold this position for anywhere between 10 to 20 seconds. You can add on lots of drills to this as your base position. If you liked this video and you're looking for more free flexibility training advice, there's a lot more where that came from on my website, where I regularly post blog posts with stretching tips, as well as detailed stretch breakdowns like this video. You can check it out at dannywinksflexibility.com.